Hi, my name is Leah Allen, and I'm a Republican candidate for lieutenant governor. I'm running along with Jeff Deal, who's campaigning for governor. I got involved in this race because I want to work with Jeff Deal to protect your freedom, your children, and your wallet. And I believe my experience uniquely qualifies me to do that on your behalf. So let me tell you a little bit about myself. I've lived in Massachusetts all my life. I was born and raised in Lynn, and I'm a proud graduate of Lynn Vocational Tech. I started my career as a nurse working in a nursing home where I was working 16 hour shifts to pay off my student loans and my car. And it was during this time that I started really paying attention to my paycheck and what was being taken out of it. Reports were coming out about state agencies being unable to account for millions of dollars. And at the same time, the legislature wanted to raise taxes on everyone in Massachusetts, including seniors and young families and people just starting out like myself. I decided to get involved in politics and ran for state representative. I was talking about all the issues that my friends and neighbors cared about, and I won. I went to Beacon Hill and did exactly what I said I would do. I fought for transparency and accountability in state government, held the line on taxes, and stood up for our constitutional rights. I was grateful for the time I served and proud of what I worked on. After a few years, I decided to leave politics and head back to the private sector to continue my first career, which was nursing. I went back to school and completed my bachelor's degree and eventually went to work as a nurse at my community hospital. For almost five years, I worked there. And in the meantime, I got married and started my family. Then the pandemic hit. Suddenly, my floor was designated to be the first COVID floor and we were treating very sick people. Those were difficult times, but we worked hard and got through it. I had a baby girl at home and I was pregnant with my son during all of this. And that brings me to where I am today. You see, a few months ago, as I was preparing to return to work from maternity leave, I was told by my employer that I could not return unless I got a COVID vaccine. I am not against vaccines, but as a nurse and a mother, I had concerns about these particular shots. So I made the decision that was best for me and my family and declined. Unfortunately, that decision also cost me my job. What happened to me wasn't fair, and it wasn't the government's decision to make. Sadly, I am far from alone. Lots of first responders, healthcare workers, and so many other people lost their careers because they made a healthcare decision that was right for them, but against their employer's wishes. And that's particularly true of public employees who work for the state, because the state, unlike federal employees, had the option to uphold medical freedom, and they didn't. And so, just as I did a few years before, I took another look around. I saw a government that isn't respecting people's individual rights and freedoms. I saw a government that is spending too much money and that's refusing to cut taxes, even though there's a multi-billion dollar surplus. I see kids subjected to unfair mandates in schools, and I see parents being cut out of the process of deciding what their kids learn in the classroom. It isn't right and isn't fair, but it also doesn't have to be this way. Leadership has consequences, and when it comes to our political system, elections have consequences. We need to elect leaders who will model the government we want to serve us. That's why I decided to get involved in politics again and to run for lieutenant governor alongside Jeff Deal, who shares my vision for a better Massachusetts. Together, we've pledged to rehire all the state workers who were fired because of the vaccine mandate and to fire the managers who made the decision to let them go in the first place. And as former members of the legislature, Jeff and I know how to work with others on Beacon Hill to protect taxpayer dollars. In fact, we've done it before as a team. We worked together to fight inflationary increases in the state gas tax back in 2014. This year, we're both working to fight against giving driver's licenses to illegal immigrants. And we're also arguing against proposals to increase the income tax. Instead, we're proposing that the state return some of the excess tax dollars it collected. We're working hard to provide school choice to Massachusetts families and to block the unconstitutional mandates put in place against Massachusetts families and businesses. And we have plans in place to make housing more affordable and to fix our aging transportation infrastructure. Jeff and I want to make Massachusetts a place where people want to live and work, not a state where people want or have to leave. If you agree with our vision for a better Massachusetts, I invite you to get involved in our campaign. Please visit leahcoleallen.com to learn more. Thank you.